is Sue from Create for Journals and today I wanted to take you behind the scenes of our newest pack that we've launched and it's our QR code training and activity bundle and I thought I would show you one of the templates inside the bundle. So uh, this is what you're going to get right here is um, you're going to get about this is about yeah, 12 and a half minute training video about how to edit the templates, how to create QR codes um, and everything else. And then in this folder, you've got help for documents about planning out your scavenger hunt activity and then using AI for your, your games and then your list of QR code games and challenges that you could create. So this one here is our treasure hunt um, template for you. And I just thought I'd take you through it. So we've done this as a team event. And again, you can make it a little different if you want to. You don't have to do it as a team. You can do it as individuals. But we thought we would make this as like a teacher's game. So you've got the cover here. And then we've got the directions, um, how to start everything, where to start the QR code for the team. So everybody starts in a different position. And then we've got your checklist here about having your riddles or questions. And just a note that when you're doing QR codes, you can put in text, video links, audio files, images. It's not just um, riddles or questions. We're just using that in this example. So you can create your QR codes that link to all kinds of different formats. So you just want to keep that in mind so that you can uh, really make them a little different for everyone. So this is how we have put everything together here, you know, um, divide everyone into teams, have a leader, uh, recording sheet, pencil, so you can go through all of this here. And then we've even created a teacher's note section. And again, you get Piala access to all of this, so you can customize this and then rebrand it and give it out to your customers as well. Um, we've done this um, particular game for like grade three to five. And um, it's treasure hunts. There's, you know, you can customize this to Halloween, Christmas, Easter hunts, uh, just a backyard hunt, a camping hunt, all kinds of different things. And then, you know, this is how we've divided everybody into five teams. So you just kind of read through everything here. And then this is where we've got the directions to your students. And then you're going to allocate these sheets. So here we have the team sheets. And then this is how you're going to do the QR code. So we've made a template here. This would be the QR code that gets scanned. And of course, you can change the background, the colors, the buttons, everything you want to customize it, just like you would with any other PLR product. And then we've got the recording sheets in the next section. So this is the order, the location, and where they found the clue. And here we've got the starting point for each team. So you've got Team X, okay, you can number these any way you want. And then basically each team will visit a location once. They will not visit a location together with another team at the same time. So we've kind of timed, you know, you get everyone to time everything so that no one's in, two teams aren't in the same location at the same place. And then you can add more pages. Uh, and we've just done the first two rooms to get you started. So then you would add the extras in yourself. So this would be the first location, depending on where you wanted to start the hunt. And then this would be the second location. So if you have five or six locations, you just duplicate this page, name it third, fourth, fifth location, and then you've got your game to go here. And just to give an example, this is how we have taken that basic template. We've just changed the design and we've turned this into a Halloween QR code scavenger hunt here. And it's basically got the same templates, just different themes. So that's how you can do this one. And you can change this to anything that you want. Christmas, Thanksgiving's coming up, fall, um, leaf collection. They can, you know, you can send people off on a leaf hunt to see what kind of leaves, acorns, fall treasures they can get and make that into a game as well. And then just to show you a completely different format, what we've done here for this one is a health and wellness 15 day QR code challenge. And then you can read through the templates here. And it's a new spin on the mental health wellness challenge. Instead of marking each day of your calendar, you just scan the QR code and do the challenge each day. So, and then here we've got you know, basic outline. Again, you can change colors. This is the code um, that people would scan. And then this goes through all the way 
for the 15 days, take a hundred steps. You can put in any prompts that you want to, positive aff affirmations in this one, desk yoga, and then doing something every 20 minutes, look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds to reduce your eye strain. So you can put all kinds of different tips. You can get AI to help you write those tips if you're not sure what to put in here as well. And then we've got all the different um, days and we, then we end up on day 15 here. And then with this one, we have created a fun farm animal QR code game for kids too. And again, it's got the same teacher's notes. So you just, again, we're just customizing everything, how the game works, the different station options, and then scan the QR code, to name the correct farm animal and advance to the next location. So you can put in the questions here. So same thing here, what animal says moo, walk like, you know, mini task, you know, you get them to do some kind of activity. So walk like a cow to the next station. Um, and then you have the riddle option and then the hint option. So there's all different kinds of ways that you can customize these um, templates here. And then these are all like the game and activity ones. And if you're a member of our business hub, you're going to get business QR codes as well. So these are the QR codes. We show you how to use them on download pages inside your printer balls, inside your books, um, on your book covers. So there's a whole, I think you get on that, but another nine PDFs and templates in that package. And that's only available to our, um, create the business hub, um, members and there will be a, an option to, to join that business hub at a discounted price right now on the checkout form. So you might want to think about if you want to get that too, because you can use the QR games, you know, to make games, but then you can also use them inside your business to make, you know, like we show you how to make a review questionnaire. You can use it for polls. Um, and then it's very easy with people um, when they use a QR code because they don't have to be on their home computer. If you forget either URL, all you do is scan the code and it's going to take you to the right website. So there's lots of ways we can use QR codes in our business too. And we go through that in that business training that specifically deals with a QR codes and it's available to all members of our business hub. Plus, if you join now, you get all the content that we have released in the last few months at no extra charge. So might be an option that you want to take a look at as well. So this is Sue from Create for Journals. And if you have any questions on this, please let me know and I'm more than happy to answer them. Thank you for watching.